hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add custom buttons in the header of list view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to bind wizard in the action menu in case you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under this home you can see the odoo development playlist available and if you click here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic like how we can add custom buttons header of this list view in our last discussion we already discussed how you can bind this custom wizard in this action menu right this action menu but now the same thing the same feature we are trying to perform here all right let me go to in the backend side in the custom add-ons student profile and here you can see we created this visa right in the last time now we are trying to add in one more method which is let's say def header open viz something like this and pass and the same method we have to also bind in the view so especially for the list view so this is the list view of the student and simple here we can just add the header right and we can just use here the button we have to pass here this method name and for the string uh, let's say set school right and type would be the object at the moment because we this is the method so due to that we have to use here the object and that's it after that we have to just upgrade this module minus u student in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained and let me upgrade this module now you can see here in the student profile once i click here you can see the 11 record is selected right but you can see here in the action this act this windows action we bind into this student model right but once i will refresh the screen you can see also one more button is also automatically updated so here you can see there is nothing right but once i select you can see the set school is here once i click right after that you can see it's automatically called this method now what we have to do is like we have to just open that specific wizard so for that we have to just use here the return the name uh, let's say the name would be the set default school right res model right so the res model would be this model name after that the view mode right so view mode always the form target would be the new and the context here we have to pass but right now i will leave as a blank at the moment i will give you one more short introduction why we need this one ir dot actions dot act underscore window right that's it now uh, we have to just restart the service no need to upgrade the module but here uh, let me uncomment this student ids field why because if you see here once we click this student right and open this action uh, let me also add upgrade this module let's say refresh the screen so here you can see this student profile is display right the seven and whatsoever we selected here right in the tree view it's automatically update here i mean auto update here so in in this case you can see it will automatically update this students right 
now the main thing is why because due to this default method let's say this default get method but let's say if you will not use this default get method actually here right and forgot about this action also if we don't need to use here instead here that is also fine so here once i will click here you can see the selected IDs is not also updated right so for that in case right so i'm giving you here the possible scenarios in case if you don't want to use default underscore get in this particular wizard or let's say in your wizard so here you have to use context default underscore then after that specific field name you have to use and simple you can use here colon and the specific ids so self dot env dot context dot get action underscore ids that's it and simple restart the service refresh the screen open here now you can see this is blank right uh, let me oh sorry so this is action right we have to use acti ve active underscore ids so this is my bad we'll restart the service or one more time refresh the screen and now you can see 11 record is selected right and now once i will select you can see all the records is selected and now let's say the school would be xyz and you can see xyz is updated all the selected records let's say here i want to use x sorry not the xyz but abv and now you can see the abv is selected so like this way you can also add the button in the view in the tree view using this header tag without using the js file right in our upcoming session i will also explain you how you can also add buttons using the existing xml list views and all right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session